Hi, welcome to GVTC. Hit it, Natalie. today and ask for a gig, which is up to 1,000 megabits per second internet speed through the GVTC Giga region, unlimited long distance phone service, 24-7 home security monitoring, and free whole home DVR with our HDTV service. GVTC, just plain smart. Welcome to Inside Rangers Football. I'm Brian Freeman alongside Smithson Valley head coach Larry Hill. The Rangers 3-0 now on the season after beating East Central this past Friday 62-17 on the road. And coach, the week before you beat beaten Brennan, seven-point game, came down to the, a, a last-minute play for you, an emotional win over the Bears. And a lot of times coaches talk about not getting too caught up in wins or losses. So in that regard, how satisfying was it to see your team uh, treat the East Central game the appropriate way? Well, it was very satisfying because you're right. We did come off a big win, an upset win, and it uh, uh, would have been easy to flatten out, maybe not play as well, but we had a great week of practice. That impressed me, and we got off to a fast start. You know, not a sluggish one. Uh, oh, whoops, we better get up and, and start playing here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about starting faster. We have not been a fast starting team the first two weeks. A lot of that has to do with who we're playing. But uh, uh, we got the, uh, the first drive touchdown, got the pick six with Deion Staley, and uh, – Next thing you know, it was rolling downhill. You mentioned the big plays there. Something that you always talk to me about is how difficult it is to keep on getting these 10, 12 play drives. That's tough to do consistently and score right. points. You need explosive plays. You got them on Friday. We did. We mentioned the pick six. Uh, we had a 71 yard touchdown pass. We had a, uh, one or two one play drives. And uh, you can't always get that, but it sure makes a difference because you're right to drive eight, 10, 12 plays against a good football team over and over or enough times to win the game is very difficult to do. Something coaches always talk about are coachable moments in these lopsided games, whether that's whether you're the team that's winning or that's behind at the time, you want to see how your guys are, are going to keep giving you the effort, keep playing, and maybe your third and fourth stringers. So in that, in that, with that said, what coachable moments did you find from the game? Well, we were playing with the lead. We hadn't always done that. You know, we trailed uh, in, in parts or in or a lot of the first ball game, and uh, now to play with the lead and not take your foot off the gas, to continue to play hard, not let them back in the game, that sounds easy and that's difficult to do. And then we did have some lineup changes. We were able to play all of our players, many of them a significant amount, with different lineup combinations. Can you stay smooth? Can mm -hmm. you have some continuity? And uh, we are able to do that as well. Josh Adkins, three games into the season now, completing about 65% of his passes, five touchdowns, no interceptions, four more rushing touchdowns on the ground as well. What has impressed you the most about his three-game start? Well, I think he's just got a, you know, a grasp of the game. He's a junior, but uh, having started every game as a sophomore, including in the playoffs, uh, you know, I think that allows you to start at a higher level the next year. And, uh, you know, he's prepared hard. He's, uh, he's a student of the game off the field as well. And obviously he has some ability. So you put all that together, and uh, it's not surprising that he's playing well. Having a target like Derek Houser, that, that doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't. Uh, Derek's uh, averaging about 35 yards a catch right now, and uh, he's got some other good targets as well. And so people have a hard time ganging up on Derek because some other guys that are, can uh, hurt you as weapons as well. Well, Hauser made big plays Friday against East Central. So does other Ranger players Let's take a look at some of those big plays this past week against the Hornets. Let's go take a look. Our first big play comes on defense. This is early in the first quarter. We're ahead seven to nothing. East Central's got their first drive in a third and nine, and they throw a short pass out here to the left. As the ball comes out, you see our cornerback, Trayvon Merrick, got number 44 from the, uh, from the lower part of the screen, and Jack Gibbons, one of our linebackers, closing from the inside part of the field. As the ball comes in, he juggles it, and as he juggles it, you see both of them move to hit him, and then Deion Staley moves up from his safety spot. You can see the circle around Deion, catches the tip, and then, of course, we get a couple of good blocks down here, and Dion's able to kind of wade through the trash there and get into the end zone for a big play and a touchdown. Anytime you score on defense, it's exciting. Let's look at it from the rear. You get a little bit different angle here. Showing blitz, 
The ball comes out quick. As the ball is thrown, there comes those guys driving to the football, as we said. And I'll try to go slow motion here. You can see they get him in a, in a wrestling mo mode almost, uh, feet up over his head. Ball comes out to Dion. You can see he gets a block from Jeff Savard, Nathan Holt, several others, and gets it in the end zone. Big play by our defense. Offensively, Huda Roche is who we'll focus on now. It's a power read play. And Huda has the football from Josh, and the lead blocker is Ben Zoig. As the play unfolds, you can see that Ben cuts the defensive back down. We get another block down here at the lower part of the screen by Derek Hausler. Huda runs through one tackle, another, a third, a fourth, and takes it down all the way inside the five. Just a great individual effort after a block from Ben Zoig and Derek Hausler. Look at it from the rear. It is a read play. We're, we're actually focusing on this defensive end. If he goes up the field, the quarterback will keep it. If he moves to the left or down the line of scrimmage, we will hand the ball off. You can see he goes down the line of scrimmage, so Huda has the football and he's running outside. There's the block by Ben. There's a block by Derek. There's the first tackle broken. You can see the rest of the tackles that are broken. And he gets it down inside the five where we go in and score two plays later. The third big play is a kicking game play. It's a kickoff return by Matt Sandoval, one of our wide receivers who also handles our kick return chores. Matt catches the ball and he's going to start down the numbers on our sideline. We will focus on a couple of blocks there on that side by Lane Ralston and also by Alden Fry. And then we get an inside block by our end on that side and you can see then Matt runs right between those blocks down the numbers. And we always try to get it past the 40. Matt actually runs it past the 50-yard line. Good special teams play. You can see it a little bit better maybe coming from the vantage point of the kicking team. Kick goes deep over into the left corner. but That is Matt Sandoval back there. And here come those blocks out and in, and then the arrow splitting them with Matt Sandoval. And he's a fine athlete, but I think he'd be the first to tell you he had plenty of help on that, on that play. Greatest grid field position, we go in to score. Those are the plays of the week. All right, Coach, some big plays this past Friday against East Central. Looking forward to more this coming Friday in the final pre-district game against Madison. But right now, we're taking a break here in Inside Rangers Football. Straight. 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 I think you're going to take this one. Ready, straight. I got it, Dr. Ferris. This posse guys always hold the flag. Straight. When you're ready for a break, hurry in to Chicken Express. Let us do all the cooking for you. We always offer high quality, affordable meals that the entire family will enjoy. Our chicken is never frozen and it's hand battered fresh so you can really taste the difference. You can expect fast and friendly service at Chicken Express, whether you dine in, drive through, or drive up. Hurry in and hurry back to Chicken Express. Back at Inside Rangers Football, now this time in our show, we turn things over to our very own Emily Turner with this week's Senior Moments. Thanks, Brent. Thanks, Coach. Boys, why are you here today? You're here in big part thanks to your mama. Before we get started, pull out your phones, text your mama you love her, tell her thank you. I'm here with Justin, Will, and Nathan, and I'm going to start with you, Justin. Um, can you tell me who your favorite superhero is? Uh, I'm going to have to say Wolverine, because, you know, I look a lot like him whenever I take my shirt off. It's Wolverine. So, Will, I handed you a book a while ago. Mm -hmm. I have a request for you. I would like you to try to balance that on your head. Nice. Now I would like to see if you could leave that on the rest of the show. Sure. Okay, you can do it. Nathan, I have a question. Do you consider eyebrows facial hair? <laughs> I mean, they're on your face, but I don't, I mean, not really. More just like a beard and mustache. Any of y'all have a special talent you can do from your chair? Ooh, I can balance a book on top of my head. And now, oh, shoot. <laughs> We'll take it off, we'll take it off. Will, outside of your amazing talent being able to keep that book on your head for this show, do you have a joke for me? I do. Knock, knock. 
Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Moo. cow. <laughs> oh. That was good. <laughs> All right, Justin, Will, and Nathan, thank you for being here with me today. Back to you, Rangers. Coach. Rangers. Coach, I don't see why this is so difficult. <laughs> now you can see why it's so stressful. Right. Working with teenage boys, uh, what they do on a Friday <laughs> night, my livelihood depends on that. But, of course, I can't look at you right now because if I turn my head, this thing will fall. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, at this time, let's kick, the, kick things over to uh, our Little Men segment. Here at Smithson Valley, we employ what is known as a 4-3 defense. What that means is you have four down linemen, three linebackers, thus the term 4-3. If you go to the little men here, you can see what I'm talking about. Smithson Valley's on defense here in the white jerseys. You can see four down linemen and three linebackers. Okay? If you pay close attention, you can see there are natural voids in the defense, gaps between the defensive tackles and ends and ends and and, uh, and, and uh, ends and outside linebackers. Linebackers fill those gaps. One thing you never want to do in this game is be predictable. You don't always want to be in the same place at the same time. You want your opponent to have a little bit of doubt about what you're doing. So sometimes these guys will not stay aligned where they're aligned. We're going to slant them. Coach Westerfer, Craig Westerfer is our defensive coordinator. And he's here today to kind of explain just a basic call where we want to change the appearance of the defense to kind of confuse the offense and hopefully allow us to make a big play. So, Coach, take over here and talk us about moving this defensive front. As you can see, we are shaded to the left side. We have made a strong left call. If we wanted to change the strength of our defense on the snap of the ball, we would make a call that would move this weak side defensive end into a strong position, this weak side defensive tackle into a stronger position. This strong side defensive tackle would then slant into the A gap here and the strong side defensive end would slant into the C gap here, effectively changing those voids that Coach Hill talked about. Our linebackers now would fit the new open voids in between those defensive linemen, but we have changed the strength of the defense after the snap of the ball. Trying to cause confusion for the offense, uh, try to make them doubt where you're going to be hopefully be able to stuff them for little or no gain. Thanks, Coach Westford. Now let's go to the game clips and see some of this in action. Here's a look at our front changing strength as Coach Westford decide, described. They're lined up heavy to the left or the wide side of the field, but they will actually all slant to the right. We'll get that started here. We'll kind of move it in slow motion as they slant. Here they move. Now that forces the ball this way, and then when the ball moves that way, you can see linebacker and safety on that side move to the voided area and combine and make the tackle for a short gain. A little bit better look maybe from the rear. They're heavy to the right as we look at it. They will now move to the left and close off those running lanes, forcing the ball out to where we have safety and linebacker help who combine for the tackle. Well-coordinated effort. Got another one in the same ball game a little bit later in the game. They're all going to slant this time to the wide side of the field, forcing the ball to the short side of the field. Linebacker and safety converge, maybe just a one-yard gain. Again, let's look at that from the rear. Moving from our right to the left, funneling the ball, as we call it, back to the short side of the field. We've got a lineback two linebackers and a safety who converge, make the tackle for a one-yard gain. One more clip from our game uh, just a week or two ago against Brennan. See the Rangers lined up in a standard four down front. They're going to slant to the wide side of the field and force the ball back to the sideline where we have actually three defenders running to the voided area. End up losing a yard. Great look at it from the rear, very close up. Move to the right, force the ball left, three players converge. Slanting fronts, making the offense guess, and uh, uh, making our guys then uh, most effective when the ball bounces. Well, that looked pretty good on tape. Now, how often in an average game would you say slanting the defensive line like that occurs? Some games we do it a little more often than others. Uh, you know, really we're just trying to create some indecision and some doubt amongst those offensive linemen. We don't want them to know where we're going to be on every snap of the ball. Well, thanks, Coach, for doing that for us today. And now let's go to Ranger Trivia. 
This week in Rangers Trivia, Smithson Valley plays Madison at home this Friday in a non-district affair at Rangers Stadium. How many home games in a row have the Rangers won against non-district opponents? Is the answer A, 10, B, 7, or C, 13? The answer is 10. The Rangers have won 10 straight games against non-district teams at Rangers Stadium. 10 wins in a row, coach, over non-district teams. That's an impressive streak. Well, I wish it was higher than that. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, when you do get streaks, you... Uh, you tend to great, great. Uh, I guess uh, focus on the losses too much at mm -hmm. night, but that has been quite a, a streak, probably over three or four year period. And I think prior to that, we had one even longer than that. So we've had a great run here at home. Well, we're looking forward to maybe that streak going up to 11 after the game against Madison this Friday, which we will discuss right after the break here at Inside Rangers Football. Let me ask you a question. Do you need a video for your business? <laughs> the bear poop in the woods? I guess that's a yes. Your video can be seen anywhere, at any time, and by anyone. So, what do you think of the video, Nana? It's off the hook, honey. Mind blown. Our do is very expensive to make videos, not at all when you hire Wick Productions. Do you know how easy it is making a video with Wick Productions? As easy as taking candy from a baby. So there you have it. Success is at your fingertips. Call Wick Productions today. Welcome back to Inside Rangers Football. We are inside the locker room here at the Fieldhouse. And uh, Coach Madison on the schedule coming up this Friday. This Maverick team, uncharacteristic start. They're 0-3. They've had a really big problem in turning over the football three games into the season. Uh, what, uh, what do you make of the team you're going to be facing this Friday? Well, you know, first thing you want to do is take it just for what it is. They are 0-3. They've played some really fine football teams. You know, Steele has got a well-deserved, great reputation. Austin Bowie. Uh, another fine football program. New Braunfels is beginning to gain traction. But you mentioned the turnovers. Uh, that's, uh, that's come up to bite them two or three, on two or three of those games. And you know they're going to get that problem solved. You hope it's one more week before they do. Uh, they, but we can't count on any gifts. And, and I think more than anything, I, uh, people that have been around Ranger football know the kinds of wars we've had with them before. Win or lose, it almost always goes down to the wire. I don't think this Friday would be any different. And something you can ca you can count on is that both sides of the ball, offense and defense, this Madison football team has some really impressive athletes. They do. They can score from anywhere on the field, whether it be in the passing game, running game, uh, and kick returns. They've always been so good at that through the years. Uh, it kind of takes the joy out of scoring a touchdown knowing you got to kick off to one of those guys. Well, again, this is your final pre-district game, so what do you want to see from your team uh, this Friday that will help you be f prepared for the start of 25-6A play? Well, I guess more than, you know, the, the biggest thing, of course, you want to come out injury-free. You'd like to be healthy going into the next week. But uh, you like to smooth out the wrinkles. There are certain areas of our game where we've been, been very bland, plain, or in some cases maybe even subpar. Haven't really made any impact plays yet with our punt block return unit. We, mm -hmm. we, we feel excited about that group, but yet we haven't made any impact plays there. Early in the ball game, running the football, we ran the football well the other night, but like the, the first two weeks, didn't run it well early. We'd like to come out of the gate with a strong running game and then continue to be opportunistic. We've been good at takeaways, and we'll need to be to get where we want to go. So can we get the ball away from them? All right, again, Smithson Valley, Madison, 730 this Friday at Ranger Stadium. That is just one of the district games this week. For a look at the others and the picks, this week's district picks, we kick things over to Ferris Orthodontics. Thanks guys, I'm Tyler Ferris. And I'm Megan Hembry. And this is week four, Ferris Orthodontics Picks of the Week. All right, let's line them up. All right, my first pick of the week, New Braunfels versus Brandeis. This is the battle of the ponies. We've got one pony with no horn, one pony with a power horn. This is no Little Miss Pony contest. I'm going Broncos all the way. So my pick this week is between the Wagner Thunderbirds versus the Marshall Rams. I have a feeling the Rams may chase those birds away this week. Game four, game of the week, Smithson Valley at home versus Madison. These two used to share a, a district. 
together. However, Madison got scared and left, and for good reason, and it'll be that way again. Smithson Valley, all, all right. the way. Go Rangers. Get your guns up. Back to y'all. So to recap, the Ferris Orthodontics picks this week. Brandeis is going to win his game over the Braunfels, and the Marshall Rams are going to take down the Wagner Thunderbirds. And, of course, the pick in the Rangers to be the Mavericks this Friday. Well, I like a third pick. Uh, those first two could go either way. But those are pretty evenly matched games, and it'll be interesting to see how that comes out. Again, big game coming up Friday. Smithson Valley against Madison is the final non-district game of the season. Next week, Coach, you and I are talking about 25-6A play. Yeah, it's here, you know, and uh, one final tune-up, as you mentioned earlier. And, you know, it's funny, you plan all year, you pl our kids work all year, and uh, then the season just starts going fast, 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 fast. And next thing you know, we'll be halfway through the year. All right, looking forward to it. And with that, we're going to wrap up this week's edition of Inside Rangers Football. For Coach Hill, I'm Brand Freeman. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.